Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to install identity for the first time and import the dummy data with a single click in less than three minutes. First, you need to install the latest version of WordPress into your FTP. If you didn't finish this step yet, we are asking you to read the famous five minutes install from wordpress.org site. You will find a link for this article above this video in the documentation. Inside wordpress.org site, scroll down to see the famous 5 minutes install. Follow these steps and you are done. In the previous video, we have discussed how to install identity using FTP. Also, we have activated it. Now I am going to log in again to the site. After activating the theme, you will get this notice. This theme requires the following plugins, Layer Slider, Revolution Slider, and Visual Composer. Also, this theme recommends the following plugin, Contact Form 7. Click Begin Installing Plugins. Here, you will find all the plugins for the theme. I will start with Visual Composer. I will click Install in order to install it. Here, the plugin is installed successfully. I will click Return in order to return to the Require the plugins. Here you will find the Visual Composer. It is installed but not activated yet. I will click Activate in order to activate it. You are done. Please do the same with all other plugins Layer Slider, Revolution Slider, and Contact Form 7. The next step will be making the Visual Composer work with all post types and pages. So I will navigate to Settings then Visual Composer. Make sure to check all the checkboxes for the content types. After that, scroll down and save the changes. Now, let's check the index page. So I will copy the URL and open a new tab and I will remove the WP admin and I will click enter. As we can see, we have the menu and a single blog and the footer. Now let's install the demo data in order to get site same as the online demo site. From appearance, click import demo data. After that, click import demo data. Here we go. You are done with only a single click. Now let's choose the menu for our site. From appearance, we will click menu. Here you will find Identity menu. This is the default menu. Make sure to scroll down and check the box here, Header menu. After that, click Save menu. Okay, after that, now we want to choose the home page. From Settings, go to Reading. And here you will find option for Front Page Display. By default, it is your latest posts, it's the index page. Now we want to change this to be, to be a static page. And from the front page, we will choose Home. After that, scroll down and save the changes. Now let's import the data of the Revolution Slider. Inside the folder that you downloaded from ThemeForest, you will find Rev Slider folder. Inside it, you will find full screen video, it's a zip file, and home, also it's a zip file. So if you want to import the default slider, it's the home.zip file. And if you want to import the full screen video, then you will import the full screen video.zip file. To do that, go to revolution slider, and you will find a green button with the title Import Slider. Click on it. Now, I will click Browse and I will choose the folder Rev Slider and I will choose the home.zip file. Open and I will click Append for both the custom animations and the static styles. Import Slider. You are done. Now you have the slider home. If you want to import the video slider, do the same way. Import slider and choose the video 
full screen slider.zip file. I will copy the short code of the home slider and from appearance I will click identity. Make sure to paste the short code inside the layer slider short code here. Please note that you can create sliders using the layer slider or the revolution slider. Simply paste the code of the layer slider or the revolution slider here and save the options. You are done. Let's refresh the index page to see our home page. Here we go. You are done. Let's scroll down to see our home page. If you have any questions regarding this video, please hit up our support forum, profteamsolutions.com.